You are more powerful than you've been led to believe, probably for your whole life. And there are those in places of power that really need you to believe that you are impotent, that you are a victim, and that you have no influence or very little influence over your life. However, this isn't true. You can become a quantum creator, someone who taps into their powers at the quantum level and can then do so much with their life and influence life so much. And like I mentioned, there are those in power that are scared of you realizing the power within you and using it because billions of dollars each year are sunk into mass hypnosis projects like the news, TV programs, and even in things like food engineering and similar similar fields with the main purpose being to essentially prevent you from accessing your power, from waking up and realizing how powerful you are. Well, not anymore because today I'm going to be giving you some amazing ideas and tools that are going to help you tap into being a quantum creator that will help you tap into the deep reservoirs of power that you've always had access to, but have intentionally never been given the key to unlocking. Now, some of the information I'm going to give you in this video is information shared within secret societies and elite circles. They know the power of these ideas and even more so the power of implementing them consistently over time. And so I would really invite you to pay attention here, remove all distractions, take notes, and watch this video all the way through. You'll even find a lot of benefit watching this video multiple times so these ideas sink in and you start more subconsciously uh, memorizing these ideas and using them. And if you do that, you'll start becoming more of the quantum creator you were always born to be. Why is it that those who froth from the mouth when it comes to controlling others or having power over others invest so heavily in things like the media, in food and the food industry, food engineering, in the healthcare system, uh, and so on? It's because they know if they can get you to believe certain ideas around these certain areas specifically, that they have much more ability in controlling you, in controlling the way you think, and putting you in a state that allows you to be more influenced by their agenda and by what they want. They also know that it starts to take away your discernment and removes you from your natural abilities to a point where you don't even know what they are because they keep you very, very clear um, away from them. They, they really hypnotize a lot of people into never even going and exploring what those might be. And really think about it. How often do you consume media? How often, you know, in like the last kind of century have we been conditioned to consume different kinds of media, social media being one of the newest, you know, how often are you doing that? How long were you in the education system, you know, not coincidentally from an incredibly young age when you were much more moldable, much more malleable, basically your formative years, you were in that system. And they have their hands in all of these systems. Uh, basically, they run all of them because they want to control how you think. And an even better way to say this, instead of saying just control the way you think, because that's a part of it, they want to control your attention. You see, your attention activates your quantum abilities. Attention is absolutely an energetic power when you know how to use it. Why? Because where focus goes, energy flows. Where you put your attention, you are also putting energy. You are also building energy. You can think of it like you're building a ball of energy with what you're putting your attention on. And if you put your attention on something long enough, this ball of energy becomes bigger and bigger and bigger because that's where your focus is. That's where the energy flows via your attention. The bigger this energy ball becomes, the more magnetic it becomes, the more almost like a gravitational pull it has to attract a light kind. This is why if you watch the news all the time, you're on social media and these things that are calibrated you know, all the time, like on TikTok and things like that, and if they're calibrated at a certain consciousness level, a certain energy, and you're exposed to that energy all the time, which means then you're gonna be transmitting that energy out all the time through your attention, because you're putting your attention on it, you're creating a bigger ball of energy of that kind of energy in your life, which becomes more magnetic the more you put your attention there. 
This is why you hear quotes like, you get what you think about most of the time. And this expands beyond just thinking, but it plays a big part. If you're thinking about something all of the time, and especially feeling a certain way about that something, you're most likely going to draw it in. So it all comes down to attention. What are you giving your focus to? What are you thinking? What are you saying? You know, what are you feeling? What are your actions? In my last video, I went a little bit over Niels Bohr, who was a famous scientist, a physicist, and um, did a lot with quantum mechanics. And I went over what he discovered about attention, the double slit experiment, and similar things that really show that this is not just a woo-woo concept. There's a lot of science behind this. Essentially, it went over how important a conscious creator is in creating all of this. And you are a conscious creator. Meaning that the way you look at things changes things. And when you look at different things, it also begins to change things. Essentially, what you give your attention to will shift reality. And again, this is why it seems like there's almost like this all out war for your attention. People want to control your attention. They want to direct your focus on the things that they want to grow in the world, that they want the focus to be on. Whether that's fear, whether that's guilt and shame and other emotions that keep you um, very suppressed, it doesn't matter. But that's why the news is predominantly negative. That's why the education system could be a lot better, I'm sure, at the very least we could say. That's why, you know, 95% of the food in grocery stores is usually not real food and or terrible for you. This is why we're taught that we're actually very frail creatures, that we get sick easily and all these other things that really aren't true, but if you believe them enough, they end up manifesting. So it starts to grow that energy ball in your life, but by simply switching your attention, by simply changing your focus, the way you feel, and a bunch of other things I just mentioned that we're gonna go over deeper, you start to change that energy ball to one that more serves you, that takes you out of the clutches of these people who wish to control you, so that you can start living the life you want to live, not the one others are trying to direct you to live. So you might think it's a bit silly to think, oh, attention is creating so much of my reality. Like, that seems so simple. That seems a little too simplistic. But one thing you have to understand is that you are transmitting out a signal 24-7. You're what's in called infinite action. The process of life doesn't have an off switch. I use this example all the time. Like It's like going to the universe and being like, hey universe, I want to kind of be in pride and anger and, and kind of you know, these lower levels of consciousness fear for a little bit. Can you turn off my transmission so that I'm not transmitting that out because I don't really want to have the consequences or effects of that feeling or that cause. And that's not how it works. You are in infinite action. It is always occurring. You are always in process. And this is why your attention is so crucial. Because you could give your attention, and this is a trap a lot of people fall into, to say the spiritual concepts and these things that are more high conscious. You're, taking, you're doing maybe some meditation. Maybe you're, you're putting in some work towards that business you want to build. Maybe you're, you're putting more attention on love for five minutes a day or something like that. And that is better than nothing. But what are you doing the rest of the time? Your transmission that you're sending out doesn't suddenly switch off when you go to the other end of the spectrum. And it is what you think about most of the time is what you're going to get. What you're putting your attention on most of the time, the actions you are taking most of the time, the feelings you are feeling most of the time, the things you are speaking into existence most of the time is what you're going to get. And so no wonder if there are people that want to have control, no wonder they bombard you with messaging, very particular messaging, and inundate you with certain just calls to action and messages that are meant to keep your attention locked up and focused on what they want it to be on. But this doesn't need to be the case. You can tune out of those channels in the same way that if you're on a certain radio station and you tune to a different one, you're not going to keep getting the songs from that one radio station. You can only get songs on this new radio station. So if you switch your attention radio station, if you switch where that transmission is going out, you're going to receive back whatever the light kind of that transmission is. Again, just to make it simple, if you're on 95.5 and you change to 97.2, you're no longer going to receive the songs or whatever was coming through on 95.5. So long as you say on 97.2, that's what you're going to receive because your attention, you've tuned yourself to that station. So just understand that you are always transmitting. Your attention plays a massive part in what you're transmitting. In fact, I would say it's one of the biggest parts because when you're feeling a certain way, that's where your attention is. 
When you speak a certain way, your attention is now on whatever it is that you're speaking, which is going to help you to feel a certain way. Speaking certain words actually is a great way to help you feel a certain way. That's why we have things like affirmations and mantras and, and things we can call like amalgams that help direct you back to the feeling you want to be on. And if you want to be a quantum creator, someone who creates from that quantum level, starts from the inner to the outer because the outer world follows the inner world. This is absolutely how it works. The outer world, again, is just going to be a reflection of what's happening in your inner world, where your attention has been for an extended period of time. One way I love to talk about this is your physical reality is simply your energetic history, your inner world history. All of this isn't something that you manifested this moment. It manifests that came in or is here because of things you were feeling, thinking, doing in the past leading up to this moment. In the same way, when you plant a seed, it's not going to grow into the fruit right away. But when you're looking at that fruit tree, it all came back to what you planted all that time ago and watered and nurtured and eventually it becomes the tree. You are seeing the fruit of your previous um, energetic history of the thoughts, the feelings, and everything else that you were entertaining up until this point. But you can easily change this by planting a new seed, putting your attention elsewhere, and really getting on top of this. Now, I want to give you some things that really deliberate creators, quantum creators, um, some of the habits that they have, what they focus on, because it's going to give you some useful tools that you can then use to start doing this. First and foremost, if you're not at that point yet, don't worry. Start where you are and just keep taking those steps forward. But I want to talk to you about something that every quantum creator either knows consciously because they've learned it. They've learned this from a mentor, a program, someone who knew this stuff, and they trained under them for a while to master this um, or they came across it on their own which is much more rare um, it's much easier to obviously have guidance with someone who's done this but ultimately this is what they do they understand again that the outer world follows the inner world and they don't understand it just from an intellectual standpoint they know this deep within them and they move as if this is true and they get the results um, because of that and ultimately, what that means is they know that 99.999999% of reality is energy empty space. And so they know that 99.999999% of their success, of their ability to manifest, of their ability to create, comes from their thinking, from their mindset, from the way they feel, from their energy, from these so-called intangible things. And they know that the remaining percentage, which is 0.000001%, is the strategy and the tactics and the physical stuff. Because ultimately, when your thinking is right, when your energy is right, when you are in alignment with that, with that quantum place, with we can call it your higher self, we can call it again with the universe, with life, when you're in harmony with that, you will be led to the perfect tactic or strategy for you. You will be led to the perfect physical thing for you to do. You will be guided. You will have the universal GPS working for you that will tell you, hey, take a left up here. Hey, take a right up here. Most people, when they hear that GPS, they get in their head, they let the programming run, and then they take a right when they need to go left. If that's happened, don't worry. The universal GPS just goes recalculating. Okay, take a left. But this universal GPS is very quiet if you're not honoring the inner world. It's a tiny whisper, and a lot of people don't hear it. But the more you honor the inner world, that 99.9 plus percent that actually makes up this reality, the louder that GPS becomes to the point where you always know what turn to make. And just how much would it change your life if you knew the exact turn you needed to make that was gonna be the best next move for you, and you didn't know it from a heady place, like you couldn't explain it, you just knew in your heart, in your gut, in your intuition that I need to take the left here. And then you had the positive confirmation because you took the left and amazing things began to unfold. Or maybe you took the left and there was a bit of chaos, but it's chaos you needed to go through. And then you took a right and this amazing new life was waiting for you at that point. And if you tried to go alone, you would have taken a hundred turns and still not gotten to that point because your mind is trying to force its way to whatever outcome. How amazing would it be if you just knew what that is? You learned how to always know from a deep knowing, not a heady knowing, but a deep knowing which turn to take. This is what the quantum creator does. And they don't do it through some magical thing. They do it 
just by focusing on that 99.9 .9 plus percent on the thinking, the mindset, how they're feeling, what they're giving their attention to. It really boils that down to that. They focus all day on what they're giving their attention to. Well, let me tell you that when you do this, when you do more of the things we've gone over so far and what I've gone over in other videos, that is what begins to happen. You start to get in alignment with the universe that is tr working for you, that's trying to help you, but can only do it if you come to the table too, that if you get in alignment, if you co-create with it, it's not gonna do it for you. Again, the, the old axiom, you can bring a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. It's the same with this. You know, the universe can try and tell you to go left, can tell you to go right based on the instructions, the blueprints you're giving it by saying, this is what I want, that's what I want. But you have to actually take the turn. And you have to do the work to get to the point where you can hear, take a left, take a right, go straight, make a U-turn much more clearly. And that happens by focusing on that 99.9 .9 plus percent. That again is what makes up most of what you are perceiving that you are actually living in and is what's going to give you the results. Ultimately, when you get your thinking right, when you put your attention on the right things, when you start doing that inner work consistently and you prioritize that, that is when you start to become the quantum creator. Now, if you want to get the education that we all should have done when we were kids, learning about these concepts like the inner uh, and outer world, learning about how our reality works, like how to actually rule over your reality, how to control your reality, or understand what you can control and what you can't, but then being able to stop trying to control the things you can't and leave that up to a higher power that knows how to do it and will actually bring good things into your life, then please check out our program EMF where we essentially do this. It's a six month deep dive with a group of other inspired people. So it creates that collective energy where you're gonna learn these things at a deep level. We're gonna keep your attention on it so that you actually get the results. We're gonna keep your attention on the things and show you exactly what to do so that you just start getting the amazing Amazing results that you want in your life. And the great thing is after you've gone through it, you're going to know how to continually repeat that time and time again, um, moving forward. So if you want to learn more about our EMF program, you can just check out the free case study we have. It's the first link in the description. It basically goes over how the program works, um, the results that it gets. It'll show you some results other people have gotten just so you can learn a bit more and see if it's right for you. But I implore you to take a look at that if you feel the call, if it resonates with you and you're just ready to become that quantum creator, that conscious creator that knows how to mold their reality in the ways that they want. Anyway, I did promise you another video I mentioned earlier, or at least I mentioned it, and I think it would be a great video to look at next right over here. It's my previous video where I go over things like the double slit experiment. I go over more of these topics on a deep level, more of the science behind it too. So it's a great video to also check out right here.